welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Sun moon and rising sign for the first week of May 2017 the week begin from the 1st of May until the 7th of May I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this has been a wonderful journey um, please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign because this is very important because the message that you don't receive in this reading you will receive in another reading so remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign sign okay this week this week is the week of the lovers and as we have the energy vibration of the lovers we have um, the energy of um, the ace of ones and the ace of ones is always the energy vibration of you having a wonderful new beginning in something in your life so most people I see will be walking away and there is going to be a new beginning coming in your life which is extremely extremely wonderful so congratulations to all the people who have started work today um, the first of uh, of May and as change out of a negative environment to something much more positive uh, I want to say to each and every person that this week is going to be an extremely wonderful week the number 10 the number one energies all about new beginnings new things are happening and uh, good things are happening and things are happening swiftly in your life because of this ace of one you are going to have a wonderful new beginnings in endeavors new business and new situation the energy the number one energy is going to be your energy vibration for this week which is extremely positive um, there are new things that are coming up um, you're going to work with the energy vibration of uh, um, the Prince the Prince of Pentacles and the Princess of Pentacles and that is um, good the King of Cups is here it is um, a wonderful um, situation that is going to happen because it's your own energy vibration the King of Cups but as we begin the week your color is going to be it's all about the um, darker blue the indigo blue for you guys as we look at Monday we have a new beginning you're starting something new you're going on a new journey and you're starting something new which is extremely beautiful extremely positive and this is very good for you um, um, cancers because this energy vibration is showing you that new things are going to happen for you and uh, at the end of a cycle with certain aspects and certain things in your life so you're going on a new journey and this is the energy vibration of a hair sign and what is so beautiful is that you're vibrating in the week of the lovers the week of the lovers is your energy vibration as a cancer person and what is happening is that um, new beginnings new changes are happening you're going out on the limb some people are going to connect but I'll give you a bowl by bowl on Tuesday you have the energy vibration of the Prince of Pentacles the energy vibration of the Prince of Pentacles is one of those energy where you're going to connect with um, a young person yeah it can be a young energy but it can be someone between the ages of 21 and 35 and that is the Prince and he is going to help you through certain aspect and help you to give you this new beginning as we look at the middle of the week we have the four of sword the energy of the four of sword is extremely wonderful energy of the four of swords is a wonderful energy because you're resting you're resting spiritually and mentally on Wednesday and this is extremely good because we need to have inner peace so we can still go about doing our business but we need to have inner peace we need to take the time off to vibrate to a good energy vibration to cleanse our energy and have inner peace so that is like a resting for you guys as we move on we have the Prince of Pentacles on Thursday so uh, all these Pentacle people are going to connect with you to help you these are younger people younger energy who is going to connect with you to help you to move forward and this sort of a situation is going to be extremely good because uh, you're um, you're crowned your reading is crowned by the Prince 
uh, and the princess of Pentacles so this is extremely good this is a good sign this is a wonderful sign um, this sign is going to help you to move forward in good ways so on Friday you have the energy of your own energy vibration so Friday is going to be an extremely wonderful wonderful time and this is going to be good because uh, of the energy vibration your own in your own energy vibration and it is the week of the lovers so you are feeling in ice spirit and for most of the men you will be feeling an ice spirit and you'll be connecting with the energy vibration of the hurt sign people whether the Capricorns the Sagittarians or uh, Capricorn Sagittarians or um, the Tauruses or Virgo so you are having a good connection with, um, with the women and this is a wonderful week because if you're looking for a relationship it's good people to connect with because you're water and their earth sign as we move forward on Saturday the ten of swords all the swords are falling out all the negative um, all the blockages uh, are, are releasing there's a release from all the blockages this is another air sign this is extremely good this card has been coming up for a lot of people a lot of cleansing a lot of realization of all negativity all blocks are leaving your um, or leaving your body so this is extremely extremely good as we move forward we have the energy vibration of safety the ten of cups so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be beautiful this is going to be a wonderful energy vibration and as I've been saying to a lot of people this card set has a scar deck has a lot of energy vibration of the moon the moon is constantly because this is the Sun and moon Taurus set so there is always a lot of Sun and moon and as you see the depictment of this ten of cups uh, that your family situation people um, you're going to have comfort in your family you're going to have um, um, protection in your family your family is going to be there for you so in this new beginning your family will be there and supporting you so you have nothing to worry about okay as we look at the energy vibration as the we look at what the love energies is pulling here out is that a lot a lot just a lot of you um, women will be starting new relationships and um, most of you will be connecting with the hurt sign people which it could be the Taurus um, the Virgos or the Capricorns and whatever situation that was happening um, with you and certain people of this um, existence you're going to see that the end of a difficult period with some of these people and you're going on a new journey you know you're looking back to see what has transpired and you're now taking ends and going on a new journey which is extremely wonderful I want to say to each and every person be aware of what you give out whatever the situation is love is the key to everything as we move on and we see the energy vibration what is happening here is that the energy of a lot of men connecting and they're going to be in a happy relationship with the earth sign people so um, you and most and yeah it is the this is written there's a lot of people who are confirming that the cancers and the Capricorns are the best marriage I don't believe that I I you know but if it's so it's so but it's not um, my belief system in that doesn't coincide. I think the only thing that the, um, the Kansas and the Capricorn have in common is that they're very private and um, their parents, whenever you speak about their mothers or father or their parents or family, they're very protected of their, fa their family. So this is how I um, see it. The, not really that I would say is the perfect match. Uh, actually I think the Capricorns are best well matched with the Tauruses because um, or with the Pisces uh, but not the um, but not the not the cancers it is just my opinion just giving you my opinion but in any way maybe there are some people out there because we don't vibrate with the same energy vibration and maybe yours um, twin flame or your your twin flame or your soulmate is born under the sign of uh, um, 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 Capricorns or you know the Virgos or what so the connection here with these people are very very good 
um, the focus of being rested some people is going to be in rest and some people are going to have new beginnings okay so most of the time people take rest before or take rest in the new beginning between the end of um, periods in your life there's always a rest a rest period and then you have a new beginnings I should say a rest rest period and then you have a new beginning so this is what is going to take place in this week and please take the rest because it's very very important okay as we move forward and seeing um, it's all about the love in this week it's all about love it's all about connecting for you guys it's just all about love it's all about you connecting with yourself you finding out who you are you're balancing your masculine and feminine it's as if you've gone through a period in your life and now you are bringing balance to certain aspect in your life and this is going to be extremely good because what it is doing for you it is actually um, helping you to realize certain aspect of yourself and this is going to be perfect this is going to be wonderful okay so be aware of this whatever is happening you are going to be um, solely um, connected to yourself and people around you whatever situation is going on for the people who are taking rest your family is going to be extremely supportive for the people who are moving out into new things uh, a lot of people are going to start a lot of new jobs a lot of new projects, a lot of new um, organization situations that is coming in your life but this week is more about the love aspect love is the most important thing right now for you guys and changing your whole aspect of who you are and this is what is working for you in this week and I want to say namaste until next week